Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to sell our produce as usual. It is May the 3rd, um, and we have one contract to do. It's just a quick fertilizing contract, which I'm just going to bang out off camera uh, up on field one up in the northwest. And uh, so I already checked the prices for stuff. Uh, by the way, this is what's on sale, which is nothing we want. There's actually two TJP ticks, uh, boop, 610 mulchers on sale uh but with different amounts of time on them but not that we care about that so much uh but yeah so let's see if we look at the prices here uh lettuce is selling for 104 at uh, johnson's and the bakery is the best price on eggs for 12.25 so let's get this stuff sold first and then we'll get that um Fertilizer contract taken care of. Uh, even though our hay is ready to harvest, I did mention in a couple episodes ago that we're going to wait until the third stage, or the, or I don't know, the next growth stage, because we'll get a little more yield. But um, if we do, basically the way it works is if we do two harvests in the first harvestable stage, which is where it is now, and two harvests in the second harvestable stage, then we only have to do it four times a year instead of five, and we get the same amount, pretty much get the same amount of yield. Uh, I did explain that in a previous episode. And so, yeah, in other words, bottom line is we're waiting till June until we harvest our hay, even though we could do it right now if we wanted to. Uh, the other big thing that's going to happen in this episode is we are going to purchase, finally, field 54 that I've been holding out on and uh, get that done because it has a crop of barley on it and barley can be harvested in June and I don't want to take the chance of the computer farmer harvesting that before I have a chance to buy it. So we're going to buy it this month and then it'll be ours. And we have uh, other work to do on that field to expand it and whatnot. Oh wow, we made 3000 bucks on those eggs. That's pretty good. Uh, Alright, so yeah, let's head on out to Johnson's and get this lettuce sold. Nine thousand forty-four bucks. Okay, so we made a little over eleven thousand dollars this month on our produce and eggs. Not too bad. That's a nice little income, you know, to have every month. I was looking in the mod uh, on the mod hub, and you know there are some mods that are basically like warehouses where you can store pallets. I might get. I might get something like that eventually. They're kind of expensive, which is fine because something like that should be expensive. But what I would do is I would treat it um, like cold storage. And then we would, you know, we would save up our eggs and our lettuce and stuff and wait until we can get a better price on them and we'd make more money off of them that way. Um, so it's something I'm thinking about, but we're not going to obviously be able to do that immediately because we have higher priorities. But uh, hopefully that'll happen soon. The other thing, too, is I ended up having to buy another bag of feed from the store uh, for the chickens, um, which it wasn't a big deal. You know, it's only like 1200 bucks, but still, we had to do it to keep them um, fed because if they run out of food, then they stop producing, of course, and that is no bueno. No bueno at all. Okay, let's park this here. Uh, we'll undo all those straps. And then I'm going to hop uh, in one of the tractors and just run up the field one really quick and uh, bust out that fertilizer contract. We have extra fertilizer left over from uh, last month, so we don't have to purchase anything for that. And then when I get that done, I'll bring you guys back and we will purchase our new field. I'm very excited. Been waiting a long time. Been waiting many in-game months to do this. It's going to be great. Okay, guys, the contract is finished. We have two hundred thirty-five thousand and sixty-two dollars, um, and let's go ahead and 
Purchase field 54. So let's see. We want to go to the map and we want to go to farmland and we want to select 54. This is going to set us back by $180,504. And boom, it's done. Okay, so that is now our field. Um, and that still leaves us $54,000 left over. So we'll eventually, it is my intent to eventually buy all these other fields around our property too. And even, you know, beyond that, eventually. Uh, but this was the best, this one made the most sense to, to purchase right now. Okay, so let's, um, let's see, we're gonna, I think what we'll do in this episode is we're gonna do a little bit of lumberjacking. We can't do the, you know, harvest the barley until next month. So, I gotta think about this for a second. Let's run out there in the pickup and just look at it first. And we'll see what we gotta have to work with here. <clears throat> There's a couple of, uh, forestry implements that I'm going to lease to to do this job because I think there's enough trees out there to warrant it. I think. Well, let's go look, though. There she is. Look at that field, man. That's awesome. But it also includes this entire strip right here all the way out to the road. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, these are all like just elm trees. That doesn't include those trees though. So it's basically these two trees here and everything here all the way up to the train tracks. I think these are just elm trees, so they're not they're they're kind of crap trees for lumber. That's a big one there. Eh, I don't know. I don't know if, I, if if it would be worth it to rent a bunch of forestry equipment for these trees. We only have two or three, you know, actual sizable trees like this one. I think, um, let's look at the map again. So the property line goes just a tad beyond the edge of the field. So it really ends right about here. Which means we probably wouldn't even be able to cut that tree down anyway. Because it's not on our property. This one we'd be able to cut down. Uh, well, actually, maybe not. I don't know. Let's just see. Does it let us... Yep, it lets us cut it down. Okay. Probably won't let us cut this one down, though. Oh, wow. Okay. See, I, the reason I would cut those down is because they're right at the end of the field and they could interfere, you know, with turning around, especially if we have the AI working for us. Okay, well, you know, there there aren't enough trees on this property to warrant renting a bunch of logging equipment. So I think what we're going to just do here is we have to get a mulcher because I need to get rid of the stumps. So that we just have to do that for sure. Um, and we could maybe here, let's just take a look. See, uh, we could maybe get the an actual lumber trailer. There's there's a fairly inexpensive one available that is a mod that I installed this one here. Yeah. Cause it's got, you know, it's got the uprights on it in the, in the, um, the bunkers. Right. And it's only 3,800 bucks. So to lease this is just going to cost 193. I think it'll be worth it rather than trying to fight the flatbed with these trees. And then the other thing that we want to lease is nah, we don't need that, that processor. Uh, I think we just need the forestry mulcher. Just this this less expensive one for removing the stumps. Because this is cheaper than the actual stump remover. And it also gets rid of brush, whereas the stump remover doesn't. Uh, so that'll set us back another $1,249, which isn't a big deal. 
And uh, let's see. Uh, the other thing is we might want to get a a uh, well, what you call it a log gripper thingamadoodle for the tractor. That is this guy right here, log fork. That's what it is. To lift these up, I'm trying to think. What else? We don't really have anything else that would work very well for that. Yeah, yeah. Let's lease this too. 153 bucks, pretty cheap. Okay, yeah. So what we're gonna do is get all these trees cut down, get the stumps removed. I might wait. <sighs> Gotta think about this for a second. We could we could go ahead and cut the grass here too. Um Yeah, that's probably we probably should because I'm I'm planning on plowing this. I'm I'm going to basically expand this field all the way to the road. So, yeah, we should cut the grass too. But first we got to get rid of the the trees. Okay, well, let me go get all the lumberjacking stuff, and then uh, we'll get started with working on these trees here. All right. Let's knock these trees down first. I do have the lumberjack mod installed. If you don't know what that does, it basically makes cutting wood with a chainsaw easier. Um... It does also let you remove stumps with the chainsaw, but I don't use that feature because I don't think it's very realistic. Uh, all right, so let's. Uh, but it it the main reason why it makes using the chainsaw easier is because it extends the range of the of the saw uh, over vanilla, so it makes it better that way. I really don't like these these elm trees though. They're just a pain in the neck to work with. Alright, so let's um let's see if we can just do this. Cut those branches off. If we if we cut the branch out a little ways from the trunk. Sometimes it'll delete the, yeah, delete the extra stuff, so we're not gonna mess with it. But we can all we can always kind of, you know, mulch that stuff too with the forestry mulcher as needed. But I'd rather deal with the log with you know these kind of branches sticking out than have to deal with the all the extra brush that comes along with it. In some cases, we we still will have to do that, though. That's right. We're not really trying to make any serious money off of this. We just need to clear this crap out of here. That's the main thing. I mean, this whole entire tree is not even really worth messing with. I think we, we might... You know, I might mulch that whole thing. Let's just mulch the whole thing. Okay, so... Let's get in here. And we'll grab the big tree. Let's get it from this side. Uh, yeah, select that. Oh, need to connect the lines. The reason why I always forget that is because front loader tools the actual connection is happens, you know, in the normal way, the automatic way. And I just never think to, um, you know, then connect the lines afterwards. Okay, still have this branch here. It's going to be a little jank, but that's all right. I'm not too worried about it. I just want to, like I said, get rid of them. Uh, is hopefully the carpenter shop has the better price because it's just right down the street. The sawmill's all the way over by 
uh animal dealer in johnson so let's go to prices let's go to wood <coughs> <laughs> yep, carpentry has the best price. Uh, that's good. All right, now let's mulch the rest of this stuff. I just it's just not worth messing with. Um, so we want to switch to the mulcher and um, let's see. Why isn't that responding? Oh, for the same reason. I didn't hook up the lines. Okay. Yeah, let's reselect it. There we go. And we want to open this little thingy up here. Okay. Let's get rid of these bushes. Takes care of that section. Let's do these next. Um, these little ones, yeah, I'm going to actually just knock those over with a mulcher. This one has enough wood on it to be worthwhile for selling, though. just doesn't work very well with these like it does with the um whatchamacallit the spruce and pine trees evergreen trees works way better right. just kind of trim some of this down a little bit here so we can sometimes you can just tap the the saw and it'll take them off like this. Yeah, there we go. Can't quite see the marker on this one. There we go. Okay, we got that rid of that one. I think that separates the main trunk from everything else. Let's bring the trailer over here. Park right there. So I'll mulch the rest of this stuff.
Okay, that takes care of all the brush and the little trees we don't want to mess with. Well, actually, looks like there might be another little tree up there on the hillside. Um, this is going to be a good tree here, though. Um, so let's, yeah, let's uh, cut this one down. This will give us some nice lumber. Now, can I... No. Nope. Yeah, it just doesn't work with these. Okay, so let's see if we can zip off some of this crap here because th these branches are actually worth selling too. But we just want to kind of trim them up a little bit first before we take them off the main trunk. Good. All right. Now, let's get this one down next. All right, good. Got rid of all that one. And then let's do this one next. Yeah, see, with the spruce and pine trees, all you have to really do is just run up the trunk with the saw and hold the button down like this and it zaps all the branches off for you. It's so much easier to work with than this, than these trees are. Okay, and can we get rid of that and get rid of this? Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, let's get all this picked up first, and then we'll go get the final little section of trees over by the overpass. I think maybe we should, let's go sell this batch first because it is really gnarly here. I don't know if, uh, hopefully I can get it down there. Cut it out. <laughs> I 
We don't have very far to go, so let's just, whoops. Let's just see what happens here. The unload area here at the at the carpentry plant is not very large, which doesn't make a lot of sense considering you know you're bringing in big logs to the place. That should be good enough. Let's unstrap everything. Whoa. I'm stuck. $216. <laughs> this is so not worth it, man. I should just mulch everything and be done with it. $216. Partly, it's partly because I didn't actually trim the logs properly, but even if I had, it still wouldn't have made that much difference. Oh well. I mean, it's just right down the road. We might as well make $216, right? Okay, back in here. I mean, this one single thick trunk is probably worth more money than all that wood was. Maybe. Yeah, maybe not, though. I don't know. Probably close. on that, did I? All right, let's try it again. I think this is the final log for this batch. You know, that's a properly trimmed log. But here again, it's just not really worth the, the time and effort. Okay, let's get rid of the stumps. That's it. There were four trees here. One of them we just mulched. The other three we actually cut down, and that was three stumps. Okay. Now let's head on over here and finish these trees. Hey, we made a thousand and twelve dollars off that load. That was a little better than the last one. It had a couple of big thick logs in it though. Okay, so we are finished with this trailer. It's a nice little trailer for small little logging jobs like this. I've used this on my multiplayer server too. I think that's it. I think that removes all the trees and the brush and the stumps. So what we're going to do now is we're going to, we might as well harvest this grass um, because then this is all going to get plowed up anyways. 
But we'll get a little bit of yield from this. And then I think we will be finished with May the 3rd. So let's go get the stuff to get that grass cut. I bet you it'll let me cut a strip up through here. It should. Let's take a look at the map again. Hmm. That shows almost exactly to the edge of the field, but... I mean, let's try it. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. We're not out anything. Let's see what happens. We don't want to damage the barley crop, of course. Seems to be working. Um, I don't want to drop a bale in here, though, because we wouldn't be able to get it with the loader, so... We'll just keep the bale on here until we get through this strip. Oh, well, so much for that idea. I thought I turned it off, but apparently I turned it on. We might have to come and grab that one with the bale clamp. <clears throat> Unless, well, I might be able to bring the trailer through here going the other direction. Okay, I don't know how far beyond the field from here it's going to let me go. Let's um, lift that up. Okay, so it appears... Oh, man, I hope no, no train's coming. <laughs> it appears it'll let me cut that far anyway. Okay. So let's do this. That would have been terrible if a, if a train would have been coming right at that moment, right? I mean, you guys would have laughed, but I would have been, like, freaking out, like, ah! Okay. So, it does look like it's going to let us cut at least this much. Right here. Hold on to the bale this time. Nice. Let's just go straight down to the road. And then turn this way. We missed a little bit here. It's probably maybe due to the weird angle. It's picking some of it up. Okay. Now we can drop this bale off.
bales did we pull off of here? If we go to here, 10 bales. Okay. Not bad. Okay, I'm gonna go grab the bale pickup trailer. Uh, we should be able to grab this one over here with that without damaging any crops. I did nip the crops a little bit in that corner over there, but not enough to really worry about. I'm gonna have to figure out where I'm gonna actually store these round bales, because if it, everything goes according to plan, by the end of the year, the normal bale storage area is gonna be full of square bales. I'll have to think about that. Maybe we can storm over on the other property. Uh, but anyways, I need to let you guys go here. And then um, in June, we that barley should be ready to harvest. I'm going to harvest it right away just because I, I need the food for the chickens. And I don't want to keep buying food for the chickens. And then we're going to plow that whole area up, including the, the new area. Because the you know the computer farmers never plow their fields, so you always got to plow them once you buy them. But that's okay because we're gonna extend the field anyways in in doing that. And then, I mean, I've kind of pretty much just assumed I was gonna plant grass there, and I still might. But I don't know. I'm thinking about maybe doing something different. So we're not just doing hay all of the time. I mean it. Doing hay all the time, or more specifically silage, is not a bad thing to do. It's a great way to make money in this game, but just to kind of ha get a little more variety and stuff. So I'm just kind of pondering that. It would make sense for us really to, to do a, a cereal crop, and specifically wheat, barley, or sorghum, just because, you know, then we can feed our chickens with it. So I'll give that some thought. I'm not sure exactly what we'll do yet. I guess the other thing we could do, too, is we could... Um, we could do hay for now, but we can always change the field over later as another option. So, I don't know. I'll give it some thought, and I'll let you guys know what we end up doing. Oh, we got uh, three more pallets of lettuce. We should probably pick those up and go sell them, too. Uh, but again, I'll do all that off camera. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video. And in the next video, it's barley harvest on our new field. Talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.